Hello, my name is Cheryl Powers, and I'm the CEO of Your Producers. And I'm Chris Froman, and I'm in charge of the uh, operations and production. And we have another co-founder, Amber Clausen, who was unable to be with us today, but she is also raising our mealworms for us. Your Producers is a commercial mealworm operation located in two sites in Nebraska, and we farm mealworms right now for the pet industry, and we are looking to advance into other industries involving the worms. But one of our byproducts is the mealworm frass, which is their manure. It's a dry odorless pow powder that comes uh, naturally that way, so and it's rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Uh, it also ha contains chitin, and as we were doing some research as to potential markets for the frass, we found some white papers that uh, talked about the benefits of using insect frass and chitin-rich things uh, to prevent, uh, to incite the pl plant's natural defense mechanism against powdery and downy mildew and other pests. One of the benefits with the frass is that it is a natural fertilizer, and how you see it is truly how we collect it. And unlike some other fertilizers that involve composting, this requires no extra work, no extra, you know, anything. And unlike some other fertilizers, um, you don't have to worry about any type of weed seeds being present and infesting your plots that you are trying to grow. We know that hops plants are susceptible to mildew, so we reached out to UNL, um, one of the extension, person there and said, you know, we we're thinking about maybe applying for a grant, um, doing some research with hops plants, and they said, that sounds wonderful, and they connected us with Josh and Bruce, and um, kind of went from there. Right. My name's Josh Christensen. I'm with Christensen Hop Farms, and we are in Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, working with Bruce Wiles from Midwest Hop Producers, and we are working with Yord Producers on applying insect frass to hop plants, and we are the, the hop growers, and we've applied frass to these plants throughout this season to see what benefits and the differences in using frass as compared to uh, traditional insecticide and fungicide uses. So the test that we have currently is with uh, triple pearl, and uh, we marked off an area, and I farmed down by Plattsmouth, so we're only 33 miles away. So we would contact each other, and usually within the day, sometimes within an hour, we would apply frass uh, from the mealworm that that particular day or hour, and we were able to run tests. I think we've run probably 14 applications of it, and variable rates um, or variable methods of applying it, uh, whether it was dry or was mixed in a solution, or we made a frass tea. And so you can see um, we've had some results, we've documented it, and uh, we had fun with the, uh, with the test, and uh, there's, there's some benefits for it, I believe. And you get to eat the worms, too, so that's another plus. I think the worms would go better with a dark craft beer, though, don't you? Yeah, you're probably right. For every pound of mealworm produced, they produce a pound of frass. And as we anticipate growing up to 600 pounds of mealworms per week in our operations in the first couple of years here, that's a lot of frass. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to find Fine. good markets and new mm -hmm. markets that um, are natural and, and help, help us and help the end user, help the producers along the way.